analog, I, I'm so happy that we're going back to it because we never realized the vision that we had back then. So the thing about these instruments is that they're hands-on. They're not driven by menus. You don't have to mouse around to get into the, you know, the mental uh, depths of these instruments. So Don Buchla designed what we call interfaces, which is what it is you touch. What do you touch in order to affect the music? And he was a genius at this. He made uh, interfaces that were, you know, wands and special keyboards and marimba luminas and light sensitive things. And what I play is the 200. In the day I played the 200 and now I play the 200 E, which is uh, because of the march of technology, it's a hybrid. It has a digital component, but it's primarily hands on in the moment playing, and that's what the kids want. I think the more uh, digital we become with the electronic music, the less power, the, the more power you have of just clicking buttons, but the synthesizer is kind of like built in in a way that you don't allow it to f be faulty or be itself or be something, right? I feel like, uh, I feel like Bukla was making instruments with a soul, which is actually very interesting, right? And you know, it is true, it's, it's temperamental, the pitch falls. Things, you know, like it's 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 a very uh, balanced relationship. It, it's an interesting thing with the, the this modular synthesizer because in the 1980s or so, uh, it went completely out of style, and so people were looking for the, the digital impl implementations of of the you know of, of synthesis or sampling and making loops and so beats and so forth. So uh, the instrument, it's a little bit like vinyl went out also, right? And what, I guess what comes around, or goes around, comes around, they say. <laughs> so as, as vinyl is back, the uh, analog synthesis is back also. Um, the value of it is um, that, first of all, as a teaching tool, it's really good because it allows physical hands-on manipulation of of paths, so the signal paths and so forth. So the students get a feel for that. When they go to their digital instruments, which of course are behind the screen, they have an idea of what's going on and can use it much more effectively. So as a teaching tool, that's really the, the sort of the, the basic uh, use for it. On the other hand, uh, there are sounds that can come out of this instrument that have not been discovered yet, uh, which are absolutely available to all the students. So exploring, exploring sounds is something that uh, is really absolutely worthwhile. And there are certain, how to explain this? There, there are certain types of sounds, the, 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 overall, <laughs> the overall sort of audio quality of it is, uh, can be much, much richer than your digital instruments can be. In other words, it has, it has a, it has sort of a punchiness to it, which you don't find so much with the, with the digital instruments. 